What up, what up, y'all? This your boy, B-Jack from G-Rap, and I'm back. I know I took a few weeks off. Your boy was incarcerated for a hot second. You know what I'm saying? They can't keep a good guy down. No, you feel me? So I'm back like I never left. Grind Harder Die 3 out right now. Pro Family and T is the brand that I represent. B-Jack from G-Rap TV is my YouTube channel. Subscribe. Follow me on my Facebook fan page, B-Jack from G-Rap Official. Twitter and Instagram is B-Jack 616. Grind Harder Die 3. Uh, Money Over Bullshit is my new album. It's out now on iTunes, uh, Spotify. If you got Spotify, follow me. New album is on the way. This the Bars Over Beats. Weekend Hip Hop for August 20th. Yeah, we got a lot of shit to talk about, uh, to talk about Excuse me, this week. And first off, the Jay-Z Rap Radar podcast just dropped. First Jay-Z interview in a long time. He's going in depth about this 444 album, everything that y'all really wanted to know. He sits down with Elliot Wilson and B, um, and he just going in hard about um, everything from the ideas behind every song, how it all came to fruition to actually do a whole project like this. And um, I have a little clip, and in the clip, he's basically explaining, you know, how it all came about, how it all started, and um, why it was important for him to do this album. So check the clip, man, but please go check the full clip, the full um, uh, part one. It's out now on YouTube. Now you can check it out. You don't have to have title no more, because at first it was just on title. You know how you do exclusive shit, but run the clip. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How'd you do it? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I really like, you know, before I started this album, I even just studied, like, you know, n not just hip hop, any genre. Yeah. I studied Prince, I studied Michael. Uh, Bono had Beautiful Day, he was like 40, I think, maybe 42. You guys could do, like, Googles and shit like that. <laughs> figure. But it's somewhere around there, yeah, yeah, Beautiful Day. Just like from the beginning of someone's career and, like, making that, you know, that sort of album that really means something. Touches the culture, it's like a touch point, like moves, have conversation, yeah. and just be really fucking good and it's shit. It's a high standard. It's like right. a hard thing to do because you're so removed from where you were in the beginning. Um, and I just, I really had to like, you know, think about what I wanted to say on the, on the what was in this album at the time. I think about what was the next thing, what was the next thing I wanted to say, and I didn't want to just make an album like to put out some music. I wanted it to, you know, be important. Right. So I, it took me a minute to really get to that point, and then when I came to the top of this year, like January 3rd was the first day I really, was the beginning of this album. We mm. made, uh, uh, I want to say Kill Jay-Z and maybe OJ, like the first two songs, yeah. and then I knew, I was like, okay, I got, I got the feeling, I got the direction. And it's just real life. I was going through so much stuff that I had to, like, uh, I've always been that way. Like, just verbalize it in a way. It's like my therapy, making music. Real dope interview, man. You got to go check that out now. Moving on, Meek Mill was arrested for reckless endangerment in New York on um, the 17th. Now, they saying that he hit a wheelie on a dirt bike in New York City Thursday night. Um, the 17th, but check this, they didn't get him to like the next night though, I seen the footage, you gotta go on um, YouTube and check the footage um, of Meek Mill as he was getting arrested, he was actually videoing the shit or going live, I don't know if he was live or what, but um, yeah man, it's crazy because I guess they were trying to use his IG pictures against him and say, yo, you was on New York streets hitting willies and shit, and that's against the law, so I guess he got his lawyers to um, get him out of it, <clears throat> so Big ups to Meek Mill, man. You know, his new album, uh, Wins and Losses, is out right now. It's one of my favorite albums of this year. Go support that. If you like Meek Mill, you like some good music, you know, that dude, you know, he really got some good um, uh, joints on that album. So, um, yeah, man, I hope he stay out of trouble because I know he's still on um, felony probation, you know. So, Meek Mill, keep your head up. Now, moving on, 50 Cent. Basically, cops to leak in the power episodes, you know, stars was saying that he leaked these episodes um, earlier this week. And at first he was denying it. Obviously, he's like, yo, they just on some bullshit. But now he's basically fessing up to it saying, yo, yeah, I leaked the shit. And what? What y'all going to do? And I'm moving all my shit over to BET. You know, um, I don't know if he moving power over there, but he got a few shows lined up to do with BET calling it 50 Central, the first show, I mean, excuse me, the first show that he doing with BT is called 50 Central, it's supposed to premiere in September, it's supposed to contain 24 episodes that is half, that are a half hour long, so I'm 
um, assuming they're going to be like a sketch comedy type show, you know. So big ups to 50 Cent, man. You know, he always stay in the media for some reason or another. Um, I respect 50's um, game in the industry because he knows when to um, do just the right thing, you know, ruffle some feathers or whatever he got to do to keep the buzz going. So let's hope that power gets better for next season. And, you know, who knows? Maybe Power going to end up on BT. I don't think they could do that, you know, with the type of shit that they got on there. But you never fucking know. You know what I'm saying? 50 Cent, big ups to you. Now, moving on from 50 Cent to my girl Cardi B. She just copped a new Bentley. 240000 she just spent on this bright orange Bentley, man. Check this footage. She's so oh, funny. Oh, yeah, y'all. After I finish this interview, I'm going to show you this brand new car that I just bought. And I bought it. I had to buy it because, you know, I don't got a fucking license. So I had to cash out and cash out and cash cap. I don't know how to drive. But how you expect me to know how to drive when I took the train my whole life? You know what I'm saying? And I'm from New York. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, you know what I'm saying? All right, bye, y'all, because you know what I'm saying? I think everybody. Hey, Shake that ass, car. girl. That's what I'm talking about. Cardi B, funny as hell. Here she is right in front of the car, just straight up splurging. You know, she out there throwing that sauce on y'all like, yo, this me. I got it. I heard she can't really drive, though. Look at that inside this bitch. I'm like, okay. So, Cardi, how does it feel to have your new car? It feels like Bentley Chuck, yeah, that's my choice of Cardi B, man, I love Cardi B. She funny, man. Um, real entertaining. You know, Cardi B got the song Bodak Yellow out right now. You know, I guess off the um, proceeds from that, she was able to go cop that. So big ups to Cardi B, man. She's one of the dopest MCs and spitters off of Love and Hip Hop, period. Now, um, moving on to more news. My man Kodak Black, funny dude, man. I really ain't into Kodak Black's music. I mean, he got a few songs that I do like. Um, he just released the project. Uh, baby two album or mixtape whatever it is just seen a couple videos that he got for it the um the one transporting was my shit that shit is dope now he does little uzi vert and um little yachty in the ig like freestyle i don't even know it seemed kind of crazy because it was just out of nowhere but um i got the clip right here actually um from the daily struggle where joe Budden and them talking about it so check that, that out that is a prime example of the type of hip-hop artist that that does not enter my radar Mm. Not because I'm angry or because I'm bitter. It's just not my not my style. All right, so he's prepping a project called <laughs> Project Baby 2, an album, a mixtape. Um, and he got on Instagram Live a few days ago um, and had some words for Yachty and Lil Uzi. Let's take a look. Recipe Fit Rapper. Hey, listen up, man. Listen, I got some more albums coming out. I am not like the other niggas. I don't even listen to Uzi. You niggas digging the booty. They confusing the community. I don't even listen to Yada. Ain't gonna be dropping no knowledge. Ain't this like I got my own following. I ain't Muslim, but I feel like Malcolm X. Listen, I man, I ain't want no rumbles. I ain't want no screws. I ain't want no mess bad. It's still a purse. Fuck that. I fell with a project, baby. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't care nothing about the fame. I don't care nothing about the shit. You know what I mean? Cause, 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 cause I really miss hitting lips because that shit, that shit like boosts my adrenaline. You know what I mean? Wow. That dude crazy, man. Last this artist, the first time you saw this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Joe. He's too hood for this shit. Yo, I'm gonna keep it real. Academics is entertaining, but sometimes he just needs <laughs> to shut the fuck Black up and let Joe speak. Says, he don't be knowing what the fuck he's saying. I miss hitting licks and I miss the streets because it boosts my As you can see, Joe ain't about, even trying to listen to him right now. Just, I mean, uh, man, I know crazy. a lot of people, what they took away from that little freestyle is that he's dissing Yachty. Or at least say he doesn't listen to Yachty and he says yeah. he doesn't listen to Uzi. Said they were dick in the booty or whatever. Um, he's always gonna say how he feels. Now, is that just a rhyme, or does it really feel that way? I kind of... You know, it's just the reporting that you're doing on this story, honestly. <laughs> Joe ain't trying to hear that bullshit academic saying, man. It's just the reporting that you're doing on this story. Are you trying to 
Are you trying to I don't really fuck with Kodak Black, you know what I'm saying? But yo, I gotta shout out his new project is out. Kodak Black, Project Baby 2. Go check that out if you like him. Like I say, I did like the two joints I saw the videos for, the transporting and the other one, I forget the name of it, but I don't know why he dissed them too, you know, for real. I just think he was just too high or something. Yeah. <laughs> but moving on, Dave East, my boy, this is my dude right here, drops the uh album Paranoia. Really goes on clue for the interview more. and the freestyle it's a, it's a check story, the clip. I named it Paranoia as a true story because I feel like it's is is me. New York is back, baby. I love Dave to East. The, to the to the to the top. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like it's it's one of them joints that's personal. But you, you really hear the growth, especially if you've been a fan of my music, you're going to hear the growth and you're going to hear me working with different producers and the, just the different flows and the, the topics, the subject matter is, is all growing. So cop up, man. Friday, Paranoia. My first drink with Def Jam. Yes, sir. All right, man, let's get to that freestyle, baby. Let's get to it. Paranoia. <laughs> As a young and I thought money was the answer Where was money when my auntie had cancer Where was money when the lights was off And my mother was working two jobs Couldn't find a dollar then Guess who I'm admiring, the pimps pushers Fuck a hoopty, I need them Benz cushions Times was hard, we would rob them Right while they friends looking Make this up, I couldn't In and out the central bookings Sacrifices that I made you what Countless missions in my favorite hoodie Adolescence traumatic See my uncle was a coke fanatic Let him borrow my bike He told my moms that I let him have it I know the feeling losing close friends Tragic shit keep happening Money can't change nothing but my address Plus I keep my mother daughter And I keep my dad fresh Honestly I really need a nap I need mad rest Scamming nightmares Had a dream they caught me with bad checks Listen Wanted to pull up in my hoodie It's just not the weather If you started your man Hype it y'all drop together Javonchi got some new suede shit But I like the Check out the album Paranoia featuring Young Jeezy, Wiz Khalifa, and French Montana. That joint is hard. Now, also, my man ASAP Ferg just dropped the joint Still Striving. Also goes on DJ Clue for the freestyle. Run the fucking clip. I'm going to keep it real. His shit went as hot as E shit, but his shit still hard, though. You know what I'm saying? Vampire in Harlem, killing all you rappers. I put you under in coffin. Rose gold grills, put the rubies on the fangs. And Team dark like skin, chocolate the diamonds on my chain. DJ I thought I was dead. I played Boy. possum. Now every time you see me, I'm in TMZ gossip. I'm the reason why Wayne came to Harlem. Runway shows on one four fifth in Broadway. Me, Bella, and Kendall Spend a couple bags, put the diamonds on the dental Rennell looking swell, baby, me, me in the rental Tiffany blue Chanel bag, so official My lady only wear the best Only LaPrella bras is laying on her breast I should be a stylist, you rappers a mess Checking out my Instagram to see how I dress Hey, Sab <laughs> That's my boy, now go check out them Clue Freestyles Moving on, also new the Super Vultures EP with Lil Durk and Lil Reese. That joint is hard right there. Go check that out. Six songs. Also, Gucci Mane drops the joint, I Get the Bag, featuring Migos. Um, he dropped the video with that joint, too. I guess his new album, Mr. Davis, is coming out real soon. Gucci Mane doing his motherfucking thing, dog. He ain't playing with y'all. Also, um, Ace Hood drops, um, came with a posse. You know, you got to go check that joint out if you like Ace Hood. That's it, man. You know, um, Bars Over Beats, Week in Hip Hop, August 20th, man. Your boy B-Jack from G-Rap. I'm sorry y'all left y'all for so long. I'm back. I'm trying to stay free. I'm trying to do the right thing. B-Jack from G-Rap TV is the YouTube channel. Facebook um, is my, uh, excuse me, my Facebook fan page, B-Jack from G-Rap Official. Follow me. Twitter and IG is at B-Jack 616. Grind Harder Die 3, Money Over Bullshit. My new album is out right now. I am working on a new project right now that will be out very, very soon. Follow me on Spotify. You'll get the notification that the shit is dropping. Um, Pro Fan Mint is the brand and label that I represent. And I'm out. I'll be back next week, y'all. Peace.